Hi Capricorns and welcome and happy birthday. Um, my name is Inez and today I'm doing your monthly your monthly love reading for January 2020. Hey, New Year 2020. Now, please keep in mind that these are general love readings, so I cannot and will not resonate with all of you. So if it doesn't apply, then let it fly. If it does apply, then I would love to read your comments down below. Also, if you would like to get a personal reading, you can contact me at intimategoddesstarot at gmail.com. And uh, let's see, phone readings are $30. Emergency readings are $50. Okay? And I hope all you guys had a good Christmas Eve. Good Christmas. I know I did. I got to eat a lot. A lot. And I drank. And I had fun. And we exchanged gifts. And we I had a lot of fun. And I ate some more. And I party. And I danced. Yeah. Anyways, back to you, Bob. <laughs> so we're gonna start a whole entire new year. Hope you guys are ready, because I know I'm ready. Out with the old and in with the new. You know what I'm talking about? We're gonna leave all that drama behind and just start a whole entire new year fresh. So, you know, I already shuffled your cards off camera, as always, but I'm going to shuffle them again. Okay, so let's see what's in store for Capricorn for the new year. Let's see, please tell me about Capricorns in love for the month of January 2020. Please tell me about Capricorns in love for the month of 2020. Okay, please tell me about Capricorns in love for the month of January 2020. Please tell me about Capricorns in love for the month of January 2020. Please tell me about Capricorns in love for the month of January 2020. Please tell me about Capricorns in love for the month of January 2020. Okay, go. Oh, and by the way, I want to make this clear to you guys. It wasn't your, it wasn't off of the Capricorn reading, but it was off for another reading. I want to make it clear to you guys that don't come up in my channel talking all that negative shit. Because I will block your ass, okay? If you don't like the way my the way I do my readings, then all you gotta do is click off, okay? Nobody's forcing you to watch the readings, okay? So if you don't like it, then go go listen to another channel, another reader. There's plenty of readers out there in YouTube. You don't have to listen to my channel. So if you don't like what I say, you don't like the way I, you don't like my style, you don't like the way I dress, you don't like the way I look, I really don't give a fuck, okay? All you got to do is click off, okay? That's all you got to do is click off and don't be trying to come up in my channel trying to regulate thinking you can tell me what I need and need not say, okay? This is my channel and I run the show, okay? So this is going to any of uh, any of those people that out there that are bitter, them trolls that want to be coming up in people's uh, channel, want to be talking all that negative shit. Do not come up in my channel talking all that negative shit because I will block your ass. Trust and believe I will block your ass within a heartbeat, okay? Now, I apologize to those people that are totally innocent of this, that have nothing to do with this. My intentions are not directed towards you. It's only directed towards those trolls that wants to be coming in, uh, bringing in all their negative vibes. This channel is going to remain upbeat and positive. Do not bring your negativity into my channel, okay? It's not my fault that you don't know how to smile or laugh and you got to be taking everything so damn serious and bitter. But anyways, as I was saying... It was a comment that the person had made. It wasn't a Capricorn or was all for another sign. But I'm going to make this clear to every single, every video I make, I'm going to make it clear to every single one of you, every single one of you guys. So every, ugh, every single video, I'm going to let you guys know not to be bringing that negative shit up in my channel. And again, I apologize to those that are actually, that are innocent of this. 
okay? This is not being directed towards you. This is being directed towards the people that likes putting that negative shit out, those trolls. It's directed towards them, not you, okay? So if you know you didn't do it, more power to you. I appreciate it. And to those that do it, stay off my channel because I will block your ass, okay? So now that I vented, <laughs> now let's start your reading, okay? Please tell me about Capricorns in love for the month of January 2020. Please tell me about Capricorns in love for the month of January 2020. Please tell me about Capricorns in love for the month of January 2020. Please tell me about Capricorns in love for the month of January 2020. Please tell me about Capricorns in love for the month of January 2020. Please tell me about Capricorns. There we go. At the bottom of the deck, we have the moon. Try and get it away from the glare. Okay. Here we go. So we have the Empress and the King of Pentacles. We have Justice and the Three of Wands. Can you guys see? Because I know there's a glare there. The Magician and the Ten of Pentacles. So this somebody here has all the power all the tools that they need to manifest the Ten of Pentacles. They have, all, they have everything right in front of them to manifest it. Or everything is there for them to manifest it. Uh, somebody is waiting on somebody here. Because somebody wants to make things right. And they're waiting. There's something that this person is waiting for. Although they have all the power to manifest the Ten of Pentacles. Because there's a, oh, we have the Empress and the King of Pentacles. See, this King of Pentacles right here, this is you guys. Because this is a Capricorn. The King of Pentacles, he's a Capricorn. And this is a businessman or businesswoman. And they're financially stable. They tend to own their own business. Or they tend to be a CEO at a company. Or they're, they're a father figure. They could be a father figure, a mother figure. They're great providers. And they're very loyal. And they tend to be there for the long haul. They don't just leave. And this person right now, they want to come in and make an offering. So this could be you guys. This could be you guys, Capricorn, wanting to make an offering to someone here. Because here with the Empress, this is you wanting a new beginning. You wanting, you wanting growth and expansion here and wanting to make an offer to someone that you're actually interested in that you know you could get the, oops, that you know you could gain the Ten of Pentacles with because you have everything that you need to get that stability, to get that solid foundation because with the Ten of Pentacles, this is a solid foundation. This is a solid foundation here. This is abundance in every aspect of your life. And this is good because you got, you're financially stable, you got your family, you got your home, you, you're stable, you're fine, you're good. And you have what it takes to be able to manifest it. <clears throat> but there's something that you're waiting for. Something here needs to be made right. So let's find out. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> let's find out what's going on here. I'm going to clarify first the uh, Empress. Yeah. Actually, we are, I'm going to do both. Empress and the King of Pentacles. Please give me more information on this Empress. Please give me more information on the Empress. Why is this Empress here? Please give me more information on the Empress. Somebody's coming back. Please give me more information on the Empress. Why is this Empress here? Please give me more information on the Empress. Why is this Empress here? Please give me more information on the Empress. Okay, somebody's coming back. Yep, yeah, they're coming back wanting to make an offering. Look, 
We got the Eight of Cups in reverse. We got the Knight of Cups. And we got the Four of Wands. So this is someone new here that's coming in. This is somebody new, Capricorns, that's coming in. Actually, no, it's not. I'm sorry. This is somebody that you already know that's coming back to you. You already know this. And now they're coming back wanting to form a foundation with you. Because with the four wands here, this is stability. That's stable. You're actually stable. And it could be your twin flame. For some of you guys, you know, that one, you know, that's down with all that twin flame soulmate. Hey, this could be your twin flame right here, your soulmate. But this person is coming back. Because they want growth and expansion with you. And they want stability. And they're coming in as the king. So whoever this king is, you know who this king is either way. You know who it is. This is either you or the other person. Let's find out about this king of pentacles. Please get more information on the king of pentacles. Why is the king of pentacles here? Please get more information on this king of pentacles. Please get more information. See, they want a whole time you start with you. Look at that. We got the empress again. Please get more information on the King of Pentacles. Please get more information on the King of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune, baby. Empress. Hair fun. Do I need to tell you what's, that, what's going on here? Do I really need to explain to you? But I am going to explain to you because I know some people are not familiar with it. So I'm going to explain to you what this is telling me. This person is coming back in. The will, the will of fortune is upright. So things are turning within your favor. Doors are going to start opening up to you. Things that you thought that you could never have is now coming for you. Not coming for you. That sounds kind of creepy. <laughs> uh... Things are not starting, things are going to not start to look up. Because now the wheel is turning. You see that hand right there? That's, this is destiny taking control now. Destiny is now taking control. And things are going to start opening up in your, in your, coming up in your feet, in your favor. I know that sounded cheesy as hell when destiny is coming in. But it's the truth. Things are going to start, you know, things are going to start looking up for you now. And this person that's coming into your life. They want commitment with a hair fun here. This person now wants commitment with you. They want growth and expansion with you. So we have the Empress card here twice. And in the Empress card, it represents growth and expansion as well. And we have her here too. And that's what this person's coming in. They want growth and expansion with you. And they want commitment. They're looking for commitment. And this commitment can lead to marriage. It really can that's if you played your cards right, Capricorn. Because you know, things are not written in stone. But the person that is coming back towards you, because you know who this person is. They're coming back. And they want, they want commitment with you. This person wants commitment. And this commitment can lead to marriage. I mean, if you guys don't fuck it up. <laughs> it's the truth, okay? Because, you know, you know, your Capricorns, like I said, I'm surrounded around Capricorns. There's a lot of Capricorns in my family, a lot. My daughter's a Capricorn. So, it's like, it's like, you do this, you behave, I'll get you this. Not even a day. She can't even go a day without acting up or not listening. Anyways... Let's find out what justice is all about. Please give more information on justice. Why is justice here? Please give more information on justice. Please give more information on justice. Okay, we got what we have here. I told you this is somebody from your past. You know who this person is. We have the Six of Cups, somebody from your past. We have the Page of Cups. This is them coming back in. Wanting to do things right, wanting to apologize to you, and making, you know, this, the page, yeah, is a page, but this is them trying to basically ask us. I mean, it is what it is. This person's coming back in. They want to do right with you, so, you know, they're offering their love, they're apologizing, 
they're doing some major ass kissing. I mean, let's try, instead of me trying to sit here and sugarcoat shit for you, why not go straight to the point and tell you? They're coming back. They're going to offer you, they want They want commitment and acting, they're going to do whatever it takes to make you happy, and they're going to be doing a lot of ass kissing. And they, of course, they're going to apologize. And this person is not trying to fight with you. They're not trying to fight with you. Nope. You have the five of swords in reverse, so they're trying to make amends with you. They want to make amends. This person wants to make amends. You know who this person is, so this person is not a mystery to you. So, by me telling you who this person is, you already know in your head who I'm talking about. Okay, because this person is a businessman. They could be a CEO. They could be, they could tend to own their own business. Uh, they're financially stable. They have great credit. I know your Capricorns like that. And uh, and let's see, and this person is financially stable, they're loyal, they tend to be a father or mother figure, they're there for the long haul, and they're great providers. And this person, I mean, this person doesn't have to be a CEO, they don't have to be a business owner, but this person is financially stable. They're stable and, you know, and... I forgot the other word I was going to say. Well, great credit. Because you know you got to have great credit. And let's see. I forgot what I was going to say. But it was basically the same thing I already said a few minutes ago. You know. Father figures, mother figure. Okay. Well, let's find out about the three of wands. Because let's find out about the three of wands. Let's find out what they're waiting for. Or you could be the one waiting on this person. Please give me more information on the three of wands. Please give me more information on the three of wands. Please give me more information on the three of wands. I'm putting that one back because it flew out before I was even able to finish asking the question. <coughs> Please give me more information on the three of wands. Please give me more information on the three of wands. Why is the three of wands here? Please give me more information on the three of wands. Why is the three of wands here? Please give me more information on the three of wands. Why is the three of wands here? You get more information on the three of wands. Ooh, ooh, Capricorn. Ooh, ooh, Capricorns. We got the lovers. We got the Page of Swords, and we got the Sun in Reverse. So this person is, this person has doubts. They're waiting. They love you. They care about you. Both of you guys love each other. I mean, because we have the hair front and the love is here, and we have the Empress, and the Empress represents everything that's beautiful. She represents love, growth, expansion, everything that's beautiful. And of course, Harifa represents everything that's traditional, including love. And now we got the lovers here. And we got the Six of Cups, love. You're waiting on this person. Either you're waiting on them or they're, you're waiting on, either you're waiting on them or they're waiting on you to communicate with them with the Page of Swords here. See? They're waiting, either, either you or them are waiting on the other person to communicate with the other person because you guys are in love. You guys do love each other. You guys do care for each other. There's love. You guys are waiting on someone to communicate. But there's doubt here. There's doubt that this person may not communicate with you at all. You're having doubts right about now. Either you're having doubts or they're having doubts um, about this communication. Or you could also be spying on that person. You could be... They could be, I don't know, waiting outside your door while you show up at your house. That's creepy. But not spying to that extent, but they could just be asking about you, you know, to your friends and family. If you guys used to work together, they could be asking your co-workers, you know, how's so-and-so doing? You know, how's my little Cappy doing and everything? They could be doing that as well because there's doubt that 
they'll ever be able to communicate with you. I'm going to clarify the sun, okay? Please get more information on the sun. Why is the sun here? Please get more information on the sun. Please get more information on the sun. Why is the sun here? Please get more information on the sun. Why is the sun here? Please get more information on the sun. Why is the sun here? Please get more information on the sun. Let me take all of those. Okay. Actually, that's way too many. I'm not taking all these damn cards. Okay. So, we have the High Priestess. And we have the death card. They're, they're hoping that this silent treatment that you guys got going on comes to an end. That's what it is. The silent treatment. Because you guys are not speaking right now. You guys are not speaking with a high priestess here because a high priestess, she doesn't commune. She doesn't speak. She keeps secrets. She keeps things to herself. And they're hoping that the silent treatment, because you guys are not coming, they're hoping that the silence that's going on between the both of you guys comes to an end. And they feel very doubtful that it can. They're not, they're not feeling confident. I mean, the sun is a good card either way, upright, up, or reverse. The sun is still a good card, but they just have doubts that, you know, you guys are not going to communicate because you guys haven't been speaking. You got you, you guys got the silent treatment going on right now, and <clears throat> they're having doubts, doubts that you will either communicate with, that you will ever communicate with them, or that, or you're the one having doubts that they will ever communicate with you. Either way, there's doubt, and they want to communicate with you, but they don't know if you will want to communicate with them. Because this person does care about you, and they want to make amends with you, and they see themselves growing old with you. They see themselves growing, expanding, and, you know, having a solid foundation with you. And this person has, you or them, you guys have everything you need to make this happen. To make it happen, you have everything you need. Everything. To have, to make this a solid foundation. And they want to come back. And if this person does come back and you decide to take this person back, Capricorn, because it's all on you. It's going to be all on you. And at the, at the end of the day, it's your decision, not mine. You're the one that's going to have to live with that person. You're the one that's going to have to wake up and go to bed with this person, not me. It all depends if you decide to take this person back, if you guys are going to build again together. Build that solid foundation that you want, that solid foundation that you need and require. That's going to be your decision, and that's what this person wants to do. But they're having doubts that that silent treatment, that silence that's going on between the both of you guys, will ever come to an end. They're doubting that. Let's find out about this magician. Please give me more information on the 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 magician. Okay. It came out either way. Okay, we have the top in reverse. So somebody here was trying to uh, avoid a disaster. And somebody here has conflict with the five of wands. And then we have the seven of pentacles here. More waiting. There's more waiting going on. Because somebody's conflicted. So they're, so they're trying to avoid a disaster here. They're trying to avoid a disaster, so they're just waiting. Of course, they, I mean, like I said, they're waiting because they want this silent treatment to end already with you. So they're waiting, and they're conflicted, which is having doubts. They're doubting the fact that you guys can actually come back together and build on this solid foundation. They're having, they're conflicted about it. Now, there could be conflict between the both of you guys because there's a reason why you guys are not communicating right 
Because I'm pretty sure you guys are, are not, I'm pretty sure you guys are not giving each other the silent treatment just for fun. I'm pretty sure there's a reason why you guys are not communicating. So there could be conflict between the both of you guys, or this could just be inner conflict. Because if somebody already has doubts that the other person is not going to communicate with them, and they're waiting. So it could be either inner conflict, mental conflict, or there's just conflict between the both of you guys going on. And someone here is waiting because they're trying to avoid a disaster because they feel that if they communicate with you too soon, then you know, shit could hit the walls. I mean, I can't even get my words out today. I really can't. You know, shit could go left with you. Seriously. That's what I was trying to say. Shit could go left. So this person here, they're waiting. This is, I mean, somebody here is going to have to communicate. Because they have what they need to manifest this with you. They have it. But they just, but it's like either you or them are trying to avoid a disaster. But this person, like I said, this person, they have doubts. They're not all that confident that, you know, it will work out. And by the way, you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Taurus, a Virgo, a Libra, a Gemini, a Leo, a Pisces. Okay, and I have some air up in here. I have air. Those are the only ones I see. Mm, yep. I have air. I have, basically I have everybody here. I have all four elements. Okay, so this could be anybody here. Let's find out about the Ten of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Please get more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Please get more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Please get more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Give me more information on the ten of Give me more information on the ten of There we go. Somebody's gonna communicate. Somebody somebody's gonna cave. Cause look, we have the Queen of Pentacles. That's you guys. The King of Cups, this is them extending themselves, and look, the Ace of Rods. New beginnings, passion and new beginnings. This person feels very passionate towards you, and they're going to take action. This person is going to take action. Either you or them, someone here is going to take action, and you're going to communicate. There's going to be communication here. <clears throat> There's going to be a communication because they feel very passionate about you. And they're coming towards your way. Yes, you're looking the other way. Yes, you could be looking the other way, but this person's coming towards you like, Hey, Capricorn, well, how you doing, girl? Mm -hmm. I, I like that outfit you wearing. Yeah, you looking kind of sexy up in there. Woo Check you out, girl. Hmm. Could tear your ass up. Looking like all delicious and shit. <laughs> but anyways, this person is coming back. They feel very passionate towards you, and they want this new beginning with you. And they have everything that they need to make this relationship grow. They have everything they need to make it grow, and that's exactly what they want with you. They want expansion, and they want growth with you. So that's good, Capricorn. That's good that this person... I mean, so you have a really good reading, Capricorn. This is a really good reading here. Because this person wants to be with you. They, it's just that silent treatment that's going on between the both of you guys right now that has this person in doubt if you guys could actually come together and actually start again from beginning and have that solid foundation that is needed, that stability. Because you know us earth signs, we need to have stability because we're not down with all that bouncing from here to there, here to there and all that stuff. We need stability. 
And that's what this person is offering you. Stability. With the Ten of Pentacles, stability. They're offering you that. And commitment. So, if you know who this person is, if this is a person that you want to be with, this, this connection can lead to marriage. If that's what you want. If that's not what you want, then keep on stepping. You know? But so far, this person's coming back and there will be communication. I don't know when because I don't know who this person is. And this person hasn't called me to let me know when they're going to contact you. But all I can tell you is that they're gonna, there's going to be communication. Okay? So that's all I have for you, Capricorns. I will see you guys again next year, 2020. I will see you guys again for your weeklies okay i said okay okay and also don't forget to like share and subscribe okay bye capricorns and happy new year and happy birthday again